day on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shaw Kenya. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shaw Kenya, and hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos. If you see something you like, hit share. Hey, Sandy, how you doing? Beautiful. Thanks for checking in with us this morning. Y'all, today I got DM. And y'all know how I feel about the DMs. Normally, I base coffee and conversation on the DM. And the DM was, they heard me mention the wall. Getting back to the wall. Trying to figure out who discouraging the relationship between you and your baby. Trying to figure out what that baby mama, what that baby daddy over there telling that baby. When they were, I know. And you want to get your evidence together before you start slapping. I mean, confronting people about why did they would do such a thing to you and your baby. And they want to know how to come up with the evidence. So, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was going to kick it about that tomorrow. It was going to be a bonus day. So, with that being said, I wanted to get back to what I told y'all I was going to talk about. And that's building that confidence up in that baby girl. I know. And can you believe that just for me mentioning that the other day, I didn't even talk about it. Just for me mentioning, I had two women in my inbox because they don't have surgery and they felt like, well, why would you even say something like that? First of all, I said, young girls, <laughs> you old as hell, I had three kids, you needed the surgery, so my bad, you know, for offending you, because that was not the intent. And with that being said, my emphasis was on the young girls whose bodies still ain't even developed yet, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't even, you ain't even learned to love you yet before you started going to alter what God down gave you. Like, trust and believe. I am not against surgery. I am for eating properly. And I am for taking care of yourself. Putting your health first. And I, I do believe in exercise. To get the results that I need. So, but I'm not opposed to it. Oh, as soon as I get me a bag, I'm getting my teeth fixed. Oh, as soon as, oh, you will know it. You you go you go know when I get some money because <laughs> every time you see me, I'm gonna be smiling at you, even in the dark. So all I'm saying is I'm not against it, but I do think that when you have a young lady, as she grows and matures and develops into the woman that she's going to be, it is certain things that you must do as a mom. I know, D daddy's help, <laughs> but a, a lot of this going to fall on you, mom, with helping that little girl build her confidence. And a lot of it is going to come from what you do and how you move. What you do and how you move, mom. The type of woman you are, how you take care of yourself. Do you get up in the morning? Do you put any effort into yourself, mom? Do you do your hair? Or do you leave out with a bonnet and pajamas? <laughs> oh shit! I ain't fixing Jesus. I'm, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the people that come out with bonnets and pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't do it. I actually get up and, and take care of myself. I do my hair. I put something on. Yeah, I'm just like this now because I just came from the gym. So, a lot, a lot is going to be how you carry yourself, mom, because I'm going to be honest, when it comes to little ladies, and this ain't proven, this is just me talking, <laughs> little ladies, they emulate you, so a lot got to do with who you are as a person, mom, I'm going to be honest, son. they're going to do their own thing, they're going to they gonna, they gonna become their own person, but that groundwork is going to really come a, a lot from you, and, and how you, what you do, yeah, so you got to be careful, remember I told you, you got to, you got kids, especially little girls, mom. You got to act like the feds with you at all times. <laughs> that's the best way. And that's the best advice I can give you when it comes to how you're supposed to conduct yourself as a mom and some of the things that your kids might pick up on. So if you ain't going to do it in front of the feds, don't do it. Don't do it in front of your kids. So that means drinking, smoking, cussing. Shit, you in front of the feds, you're going to be like, yes, ma'am, no, sir. Yes, if, yes, sir, no, ma'am. You're you going to be on your, yeah, that's how you got to be with your kids. So, therefore, I was talking about young girls. I was talking about ways we can help build their confidence. So, I'm going to see if I can come up with a couple for you. I took some notes. 
Hey, Dion, Morning King. Hey, Ricardo, Morning King. I took a couple notes. Let me see. Um, first of all, apologize to the ladies that was in my DM because I mentioned surgery. Um, this show is not to offend anybody. Let me let you know that now. This show is based strongly on the pursuit of happiness for all. <laughs> this show is not to call you out. The show is not to bring you down. The show is not to make you feel bad about yourself. Coffee and conversation is here to help. Anything I tell you is basically just to help you help yourself and help the others around you because that's all I believe in. So if anything I say to you, you automatically take it offensively, don't. And I'm not gonna be here to baby you all the time, but I'm telling you now, that's not what I want. That's not the reason why I want you to come to this show. I want you to come on because I want you to get some valuable information. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Nothing no more, nothing no less. Now back to this. I apologize. You, don't be so sensitive. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking about young girls. Young, young girls. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Because I think I covered a lot of it. Because I covered it. Cause I, I made notes. I even covered the reasons why I said most people get, you know, surgery. Probably a couple kids. You want the mommy makeover, but... As far as when young girls are concerned, what are some of the things that you do, mom, to encourage their, uh, encourage them, uh, build their confidence? Um, out of the things that I've already mentioned. Uh, so I'm going to give you a couple. Let's say that you got a little girl that's, um, and oh my God, let me do a disclaimer. I'm not fat shaming anybody. But what if you have a little girl that's, um, feel like her daddy them sad? <laughs> And the ladies on that side of the family, they might be broad. They might be, they might be a little thick in the, in the hips or something. They might be. If you notice, or if your daughter has mentioned something about that, obviously she's feeling some kind of way about her weight. So as a mom, I would suggest, if it was my parents that came in, Maybe talk to her about dieting. Yep. Maybe take her to, to a health professional to talk to her about dieting if you don't feel comfortable doing that. I would definitely watch the food that you prepare for her and even yourself because that's the best way to, uh, to demonstrate it is you doing it too. Even if you're not overweight. It's just a healthy thing to do. Yep. Um... Also, find out some of the insecurities that she have outside of that. Hello, my lady. And try to help her work through those. I know this sounds easy. I'm telling you like it's easy, but it's not. Um, I think that was it because I didn't want to take it too far. I didn't want to offend anybody. But, yeah, a lot of it is based on you, mom, how you move, how you represent yourself. Because most girls are going to emulate that and they're going to gravitate more so to that. Pointing out some of the insecurities that she might have. Helping her work through those insecurities. Meaning that, mom, you got to work through your own in order to be able to help her work through hers. And tell her she's beautiful every day. Every single, every single day. Every single day. I know it might sound obsessive, but it's not. Tell that little girl how beautiful she is every single day. And I think that's it, guys. I think if we start with those tips, everything else you got to pay for. Yeah, I can only give you so much free game here on Coffee and Conversation. Everything else you got to come over here on 15400 Grand River and make an appointment. So, with that being said, that's it for Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shekinia. I'm tired. Can you, can you tell? And um, that's it. I'm out. Mwah.